Hey, so we have the next edition in this series of uh, insulators in my insulator collection. This one is the Hemin Gray 42. This is an extremely common insulator. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the most common one that, uh, that you'll see around. Uh, it was one of Hemin Gray's most popular and prolific insulators. And I'm reading this off of the HemingGray.info website, and I'm actually going to provide as always, a screenshot uh, of the uh, the page for this insulator at the end of the video. It'll be like on for like five seconds at the end of the video. Uh, these were manufactured by the millions, so they're extremely common. Replaced the also popular number 40, the CD 152 in 1921. As a side note, this is the insulator that got me started collecting. This is the Hem and Gray person talking. Um, I think I wouldn't be surprised if that's uh, pretty common that this is the the first uh, insulator that a lot of people collect. It's actually like uh, a more recent addition for me. Uh, the ones that you saw in previous uh, episodes were uh, actually ones I acquired before this one. But it's four inches by three and five eighths inches. Uh, it's very bell shaped. It's a lot. It's more bell shaped than the other ones, uh, and it's uh, the trade name is Double Petticoat, 24 ounces. It's a telegraph insulator, not telephone telegraph, and uh, it was produced from 1921 to the 1960s. And there are a couple of variants here. There's the Fang Drip Point variant that that has like kind of pointy, uh, pointy Fang points at the at the bottom and then there's the short mold variant I mean there's what the the inside looks like pretty standard kind of run-of-the-mill insulator this one is pretty common and um, I think that's about it I'll show you the screenshot and uh, please uh, visit the website hemingray.info and um, Happy hunting. We'll see you in the next episode, if there is a next episode. Uh, you've seen all of the ones that I currently have. Um, hopefully I'll get some new ones for you.